this is when uh, Shelby Church made fun of my friend's B and Airbnb. I'll just play the clip and then I'll tell you. Something about it just feels like not the cleanest. Like I, I wouldn't recommend it. It was relatively inexpensive for how big it is. I think it was like $230 a night and it's like almost 2,000 square feet. Like it's huge. But it just feels like, I don't know, like the dishes are technically clean, but I just see a lot of things where I'm like, okay, they have not like done a deep cleaning in here. Well then what's, while, what's the problem? It just is kind of grossing me out. But I mean like the sheets are clean and stuff, but it's like, I don't know. I'll just show you. Well, then I show it. Let's, let's see. So, like, these kinds of little marks. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Because there's a the little scrape, a little, a little uh, chair mark. Oh, my goodness. Are all over the place. Like, it feels like our... Right. Take a magic eraser without a good... All over? There's literally just one, two, three spots right there. Literally just three spots. Oh, my goodness. Wild. And then you you like zoom all the way up to me. Oh, look at that spot right there. It's literally, look how big it is from that window. It's literally, if you look at that, it's one not even a, a, what a, what about a, a quarter of an inch in diameter? Literally. <clears throat> like, okay, well. And the reason that happened is actually there was a, um, why don't you, you know, I'm not saying anything, but I'm just saying, why don't you, let's go to back to your room. And I remember in a couple of video, uh, videos, you put drywall anchors in there, right? And you made big holes. There's two of them there. So I, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying I wouldn't be talking. What happened there? I'm just showing, don't you feel like, okay, technically this Airbnb is clean, but doesn't it feel just a little grimy? It's clean, but it's like easy clean. Like they just like yeah. wiped the surface. <laughs> like they, they haven't done a deep cleaning in a long time. So anyway, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, look at them. They're making fun. That's whatever. They're making fun. <clears throat> no, I'm glad. Hey, I'm, I'm willing to go to Palm Springs and check yours out. I'm willing to go to a Big Bear. Hey, I, I might even go to the one in your L.A., around your L.A. area. I'd be happy to go to your room and, and point out, make a video and point out every, let's see how it looks. Not, not, don't give you a notice, like the day of. Go to your place and let's find out some of the marks that you have. But <clears throat> let's go to Palm Springs. I mean, this is ridiculous. <clears throat> you know, you're bashing people people's place and say it's not clean because it has a few marks i think that's where and i was and i was defending you if you look on snapchat uh snapchat tiktok um instagram and on your youtube channel i commented like over what two two or three hundred times on each platform because everybody was you know saying stuff like they didn't like the whole new thing why did you take the plants out all this stuff right and so I defended you and I said, you know, don't do that because look at all the work that she did, you know, from sanding, painting. I mean, it's a lot of work if you actually, actually, you know, um, tearing out a wall, like all this stuff is real work. And I was so proud of like her, her sister, even the dad, like they did a lot of work. It was great. <clears throat> um, but, you know, to go bash somebody's Airbnb because there's three spots, four spots, um, just a little bit of a... You know, just a little bit of a uh, chair scrape. It should be wire green, and it's sandy looking. <laughs> what else? Uh, everything is just like, yeah, it just feels like a half-assed job. I mean, it totally works. A half-assed... <laughs> All right. That's <clears throat> half ass. Okay. Okay. I'm going... I... Since you said that, I'm definitely going to Palm Springs. And we're going to find out, and I'm going to make a, believe me, we're going to figure this out. But I'm just like, it's fine. I'm eating my food and I'm just feeling like, I'm like, were these plates clean? Have they been sitting here for a month? I don't know. Those. Yeah, like, oh, anyway, if you guys don't know, this Airbnb is next to um, a Love's Airport in Dallas, Texas. It's not very far from the airport. Uh, um, you'll, you'll. Well, let's just keep, let's go, let's uh, go. I was kind of thinking oh, yeah. about this. I kind of feel like it looks too nice to move. Do These, I know, I'm like, I don't want to do anything to them. Like, are you going to have a state dinner date? <laughs> All right, actually, my friend, that was my sister that actually did that. She said, wouldn't it be a good idea to set up so then they have, um, 
so we decided to set this up and I used to work in a restaurant. So this is how you set it in a four. I worked in a four and a half star restaurant when I was younger as a teenager, but that's what you do. You know, you put the knife, the spoon, and then you have a, either the fork and then the, the salad fork. But you know what? <clears throat> let's, let's continue. Airbnb. Not to be a hater, but who goes to an Airbnb? Not, not to be a hater. Pretty soon, look at that shit stain in, in that you made. Look at that. Look at that dark shit stain. Let me find it. That you made when you sat in my chair. But that's all right. Continue. Airbnb really sets up the plates. I think it's a nice aesthetic touch. Yeah. I do like it. I just like it right away, but it's just, it's funny. It is. It's funny to set up a... Who are these people? Literally, it's funny to set up a place. Like, you know what? You're going to do the same thing at your place. I guarantee you they copy. Hey, I'm not the one that goes around um, checking out other people's uh, Airbnbs and then actually stealing some of their ideas like the Wi-Fi password, the um, bookshelves, the... All the stuff that you've done in your videos as well, where you take bits of pieces and then go to Fiverr and say like, oh, we made this room. Oh, yeah, but I won't tell you everything that we did is actually by Fiverr. So literally, you're you're calling designers to help you build and design your own Airbnb and then people are hating it. I've never seen any YouTuber get so much hate for... For, they didn't even do the work. First of all, I found out that the kitchen, the backyard, and the bathroom were not their ideas. It was actually um, d uh, d uh, designers that actually they paid to design that, and they got all the material and, and gave it to their contractors. But hey, and then they hated it too because there's so many different ideas. It's not like one theme. It's so different in each room. But hey, let's go. It's, it's cute. Maybe I'll do that to my Airbnb. <laughs> But but maybe I'll do that to my Aaron B. I hate your idea. I hate your 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 um your TV floating TV. But you know what? I'm gonna get it. And my Airbnb actually though, I'm gonna make fun of you. But you know what? Actually, a, a second later, you know what? I actually I'm gonna do that for mine. Their reason, like they don't have actual like dining room tables. Oh. Like, yeah, it's like eat here, right here. Yes. I mean, they have to work. I'm not saying you have to eat there. I'm saying you can eat anywhere you want. I'm literally asking you. I'm putting it the, putting it down. You don't have to eat there. You can move it. I mean, what are we, disabled, all of us? Room to put a table. It's kind of weird they didn't. It's, okay, it's like they definitely, like, they furnish this as cheaply as possible. Like, not a real cost. Oh, my goodness. Cheaply as possible? Do you know how much this... Does everything have to be, like, 10000 each? It's literally... Do you know how much this set is? If you look at look online, do you know how much this set is from Lexington? You have no idea. I actually I I've been in this business for a long time, but I'm not hey I'm, I'm not saying anything. But no, and then, the, and then she's like, "Oh, well these are probably from Target. They're not even chair, they're not even tables. They're like baskets." I'm like, "Oh my goodness." Table, but these like benchy things that are probably like 30 bucks at target they're like all over like that's those are the next stands that i have in my head. yeah you got what you pay for this was pretty cheap it's still nice. oh, oh you i i almost called you a word that i never wanted to i've never said that to a, a person before but you are at that moment i don't know what's gotten into you that's f that's messed up man that is messed up i've never seen that that's oh my goodness like, yeah. I still really enjoy being here, despite that. Another caveat, um, I think I know why it is pretty inexpensive. It is right next to a freeway. Yes. Like, uh, like... All right. All right. You, you're the one that chose that. You didn't have to pick it. If it's so cheap, that's then why did you pick it? Since you're so rich. Since you're so rich and you're so, you know, up top in your luxury life. And then why did you pick the cheapest thing? You have so much money, but weren't you the one that stepped off the airport just a minute ago and said, no, I'm not going to get a Tesla because it's like $99 a day. I don't know. Just saying. 